one of the reasons why I'm doing this is is to um, you know at the end of the day doing photography and doing documentary photography is about telling stories and uh, you know I'm definitely focused on and have an emphasis on uh, people that have been homeless, people that have uh, been in residential schools and um, have experienced homelessness after. So it, it's telling their stories uh, and it's showing uh, the, the effects uh, and sometimes really brutal effects, uh, effects of the residential school system and what it's done to people and, and currently how they live and they live their day-to-day -day struggles because of uh, uh, residential schools and I think the show also uh, shows that other aspect too, the, the, the work that is being done on a community level to, to facilitate healing and to expose people to, uh, uh, to, to their culture. You know, one of the big effects uh, from residential school was the loss of culture, so um, the, the, the show will also show that um, people reconnecting with their culture and doing cultural activities. Um, so I think that's important as well to not only show the uh, the grim, grim, grim realities of, of people's situation, but also the, the hope and what is being done to, to, to help people heal. The residential schools did affect me. Uh, um, you know, I grew up in Winnipeg. I'm a, I'm a Fontaine on my mom's side. My family comes from the Seguin First Nation. And uh, growing up, I didn't know um, my family members went to residential school. Uh, it wasn't until I was a little older that I knew my grandma and my, my uncles and my aunts went to residential schools. Um, they never talked about it. Um, knowing what I know now and hearing the stories that I've heard from people that went to residential schools, I can, I can look back now and say, that's why grandma was the way she was. That's why my aunt was the way she was. Um, growing up, my grandma didn't show a lot of affection to us. And, and you know, when you're that young, you internalize and you say, there's got to be something wrong with me. And um, it, it, it just that, that ability to show love um, because people weren't exposed to it in residential school, um, you know, it was, it was lost. So once I heard that, it was kind of like a light went on and said, now I understood. And I think that's why you know, what the TRC is doing and has done and why shows like this are important because it does start that conversation. This is Tanya and Brandon. Uh, at, at the time of the photo, they were, they were both homeless. And um, she's in this photo, she's in her early 30s. And uh, I, I uh, came to visit them at the hospital and, um, you know, she... Um, was in the hospital for I think two or three days. They, uh, she suffered from uh, bad seizures when she was coming off of alcohol, and um, she would often seize. Um, and this is partly why she was in the hospital. They got her, gave her some IVs and topped up her fluids and made sure she was okay. And then after the hospital, she went back to uh, living under a tree. On she lived, her and Brandon lived on a tree under on Saskatchewan Drive. And um, this photo was taken in July. Uh, unfortunately, um, the following March, she, she passed away. Um, but with the help of uh, some, some outreach workers, we were able to um, gain her, get her some housing. So at least she had the, the dignity to, to die inside. And, and um, we've heard it was from a, a massive brain aneurysm when she passed away and she was only you know, she's in her mid-30s at the time of her passing. So, you know, this photo is important because um, uh, her family went to residential schools. Uh, um, so it's not only the people that went to residential school that were affected, it was their offspring and their offspring's offspring. Um, but, you know, it, it shows the love there. You know, it, it shows that, you know, despite being, you know, homeless, despite having addictions, despite having, um, you know, really anything material, that, that, that desire and that need and that will to have love is, is still there and still evident so uh, and that's it, it's an important piece of the show for sure and, and one thing for sure too is that, that you know with, with her passing away um, like I said she didn't go to residential schools but she's you know deeply affected by it so um, having her photos on display is her statement you know she's not able to come to the TRC and, and tell everybody how residential schools affected her you know it, it's through these photos that she's able to to speak now so for myself it's it's an honor and uh, a, a great responsibility for sure <laughs>